the AC-72. Uh, the two we have here, this is the rudder wing we've been using for the, basically since we launched a boat. And this one here is our asymmetric one, which we planned to use for racing when we started the, the America's Cup. These two rudder wings are 0.22 of a square meter, and this one here is the one we have just built to uh, comply with safety regulations. It's 0.32. The, the way the rudder wings work is the smaller the area, the less drag, the faster you go. The bigger the area, you'll have a lower top speed, but you'll have a lot more maneuverability. What I'm looking for, I'm often adjusting the, the rudders, is I'm looking for a stable platform coming out of the water. I, we don't want to come out stern first, it means we have too much rudder lift, and we don't want to come out bow first, it means we have not enough rudder lift. A lot of people have a, a few misconceptions of about what an adjustable rudder is. As you can see here, we have no adjustment on any of our rudders, and it basically, the only adjustment we can make is the rake of the actual rudder in the stock and that all happens up top. With our rudders, we can't move them under load, so we have to stop the boat steady. Uh, we have to do under about five knots for the rudder motors to be able to move. And in doing that, we adjust the rake forward and aft. It's basically efficiency of testing. If we had to set this, set one setting on the water each day and it was wrong, basically our whole testing day is ruined. So, we stop the boat, we make an adjustment, we say, okay, we're happy with this, and then we go, we do a, a lap or two of the race course, stop, and then we talk about, it was that the best setting for us, or should we change it? At the moment, we're running with symmetrical rudder wings. With the safety regulations of bigger, bigger rudder wings, we, we've had to really reinforce the connection point for, to withstand the loads of the bigger rudder. When the bows go down in an AC-72, this connection point here will see two and a half tons of load so reinforcing all this area is really important. Uh, symmetrical rudder wing will be a lot stronger in the long run. An asymmetrical rudder wing it definitely loads the the inside tip and it won't be as strong as what this is. Yeah, today we had a great day on the water 20 knots of breeze and we're basically just waiting the decisions the decision of the jury as to what shape rudder wings we'll have to go for. At the moment we're using symmetrical rudders because they're a lot safer and a lot more structurally sound, but whatever the jury decide, we'll comply with the rules.